Okay, welcome back to another game of 0k. Uh, hopefully I'll actually have called it 0k the other times. And yeah, it's going to be on the desert something or other map. And uh, what the hell, we'll see what happens. So yeah, in this game, if I remember correctly, I'll be going with the uh, spiders, given the uh, somewhat hilly nature of it. The thing is, it's not really that hilly, for God's sake. I mean, these hills can... I mean, really, there's plenty of flat areas, flat um, approaches to go through anyway. So. Spiders, maybe not the greatest choice, but still I could have made, made it work. My uh, biggest mistake in this game was that I, um, well, I, I saw in a um, another gameplay video that uh, spiders were quite a pain in the ass to deal with if you were playing as uh, cloaky bots. But, um, uh, not spiders, venoms in particular from, from spiders were pretty hard to deal with. Uh, as cloaky bots, but uh, we'll see what our opponents go for. So in any case, I'll be going with Spider Factory myself, a couple of initial fleas. And my ally, Numero Uno... Oh no wait, he's actually... No, he's, he's actually Kravive, but Numero Uno is actually his commando. And he's already at level 1? Really? You can actually morph that quickly? Huh. I... Interesting. Well, he's got the beam laser laser energy cell in either case. In any case, he's going to be going for short bots. And uh, yeah, opponents, let's see, we've got... Rather rarely seen jump jet specialist plant by Logout 2, and we've got light vehicles by Dean Fruin. So the th problem is I'm going to be spamming Venoms for much of this match. We'll see how all that works out. In the case my flea is going to be coming out, I don't know why I keep doing that. Or rather why I did it in these last two games where I just... Uh, actually, was that a Venom? Well, that's a Weaver. Yeah, so I should be swatting his uh, Raider vehicle in any case. And yeah, my laser turret's going to be uh, coming down as well. Scorch is still quite the pain in the ass, but... Uh, be able to take him out easily enough, so there you go. We'll see what happens. My fleas are basically going to be acting as pretty damn good scouts at the very least. They'll be on this rough terrain that no one else will be able to go on. And if you have a look at them, they actually cloak automatically when stationary, so pretty damn good scouts. They should be able to spot quite a bit, I believe, given the uh, I believe that's meant to be indicating their sight radius. So there you go. Yeah, it's going to be spotting the radar vehicles going straight for us. Unfortunately, my uh, ally could have either moving his uh, bandits a little bit out of position. I mean, he would have spotted it. My fleas definitely would have spotted it, I think. Yeah, I'm pretty sure they would have. But oh well. Okay, so it's picking which logout too. Also, going for a couple of early laser turrets as well. Uh, interesting, actually, getting two here and, and only one there. Well, I suppose. Well. I suppose we're here just to defend the flank. Unfortunately, as you can see, my flank is wide, wide open. That was very badly done by myself then. Here comes the first Venom, and as you can see, I'm just going to be uh, going with Venoms for a bit of a while. <laughs> we'll see how that works out. Uh, yes, unfortunately, yeah, the, um, yeah, because the Raider vehicles for Kvival were out of position, you should have seen them coming from what my uh, fleas saw, though. But, uh, well, in any case, yeah, they were out of position. Yeah, basically, there's uh, Raiders coming in to... Pretty much completely wreck up the economy of Kavaiba, which kind of sucks. As for me, yeah, I've got nothing covering my Weaver there, which is kind of ridiculous. Down goes the Weaver, and the Solar Collector does not even get constructed. Eventually, one of the Bright Lightning guys will be able to come in. And there you go. So they do both paralyze and uh, regular damage. They don't do much regular damage, but uh, yeah, you can slide of stuff. They're not too bad, really, because they can paralyze so freaking easily. Paralysis damage that needs to be done, I believe, is just equivalent to how much damage the um, target can take in general. Unfortunately, I still don't have that many spiders, uh, venoms in particular, to deal with them. Thankfully, my ally is going to be coming in, and uh, yeah, we've got our own radar as set up as well. So, what about our opponents? I don't think they have any radar actually at all. Nope, but as you can see, they're raiding the crap out of us anyway, so. <laughs> yes. Yeah, should have defended better indeed. Well, I do have a couple of laser turrets here. Right next to each other. Not really sure if that's such a good idea, but uh, yeah, we really should have had something around here as well, you know, just in case. If they skirted around the sides, but uh, oh well, can you do? As for opponents, yeah, they've got a couple of uh, things to defend as well, so just a couple of defenders, strange enough. And yeah, as you can see, they're actually positioned more towards the uh, edge to defend against the spiders trying to walk over. Yeah, I don't really make much use of the um, spiders mobility in this map, which is kind of funny that I even actually went for that. I mean, they're still pretty uh, spiffy units, but really, you're kind of meant to be using them for their ability to climb up and down cliffs and all that. Well, jump jets can do that as well, actually, so we'll see how that works out. Logout 2... Actually, it doesn't really seem to be making much at all, really. It's got an early fusion. And, uh... Yep. 
apart from that though, yeah, as you can see, they're just raiding us and then raiding us some more. My um, commander's going to get completely caught out, and down he goes. I think he actually does more damage to my Venoms than to the enemy forces, but there we go. Thankfully, yeah, my um, Venoms coming in to eventually save the day, but yeah, as you can see, they don't exactly do much damage. They do a hell of a job paralyzing, but really, I need other units to freaking come in to finish the job. I mean, hell, even fleas, because you can mass produce them pretty easily. I mean, if they just come in, you know, straight after, kind of like what they're doing right there, in fact. Um, you know, just to destroy the enemies that have been stunned, that would have been a much better idea, but uh, nope, instead of... Oh, there we go, finally, I'm actually going to be mixing in my units, but the only problem is that we've kind of lost uh, quite a bit of our econom... Well, our econ economy, basically, uh, middle's not been claimed by anyone, but yeah, we don't have any rear points, we'll just go... Whoops, I should have placed that before, yeah, we don't have any of the rear metal points, while our... Sorry, while our opponents, on the other hand, do, so they're going to have a nice little... Economic advantage, they've got a couple of uh, walking missiles coming in, they're basically suicidal units. My guys probably should not be grouped up like that. Whoops. Well, we'll see what these guys can do. I can't remember what actually they could do. Moan Flea is also going to be doing a bit of damage as well, maybe. And oh, he actually is going to get straight into the enemy's base. Unfortunately, yeah, the defender does manage to reload, so. Ouch. I could have sent in something more significant, actually. I would have been able to take out that defender just fine and dandy. In fact, ironically, a couple of these Venoms would have been absolutely perfect to disable this thing. And this thing doesn't have much health anyway. So yeah, I could have done that and, uh, yeah, just gone after all, all this stuff. But, uh, oh well. Don't let them wait. Indeed. These guys destroying a couple of our wandering units up there. Rogue, I'm not really sure what the hell he's firing at. He needs to be freaking careful though. Attack retreat indeed. He's going to get taken out. I'm not really sure how cost effective these walking missiles are being, but thankfully my venoms can stun them pretty easily. <laughs> not bad. But uh, yeah, as you can see, Venoms are uh, yeah, going to be running into assault vehicles, and yeah, they're going to be much, much harder to stun. And yeah, as you can see, they can basically blow the shit out of my Venoms pretty freaking easily. So yeah, I am actually am I actually going with any, anything else for God's sake. Yeah, there we go, I actually do have recluses, hermits, and yeah, I'm going to go into Venoms as well. But the problem, the problem is though, I've kind of got the wrong mix at the moment today, and I'm even stunning on my own Venoms, because they do area of effect damage as well, actually, which is kind of funny. In any case, I'm permanently stunning them. The only problem is their economy has still suffered quite a bit. Uh, okay, I'll just indicating to scouts there, which I suppose I could. The only problem is they'll run straight into these turrets. What about their radar coverage? Let's have a look. Oh, they've got a bit of radar coverage, not much. Oh, okay, it's this one that's covering. I'm surprised they actually don't have a couple in the corners, but uh, there you go. In any case, yeah, more assault units coming in, and yeah, as you can see, the uh, Venoms are just not up to the task at all. Finally, have a recluse coming in, but the only problem is that because it's a, a skirmish spider, kind of needs uh, stuff to um, you know be in front of it as well. I mean, you can sort of you know keep hiding these ravages and all that, but the only problem is that uh, you don't really have too much ground to give uh, to give to the ravages to kite them before you know they just start going straight after. I mean, as you can see, yeah, they are basically on my doorstep, which kind of sucks to say the least. So yeah, thankfully, yeah, this guy's finally coming in. Trying to do whatever he can, but uh, yeah, as you can see, those uh, rather slow firing missiles are doing a hell of a job missing freaking assault vehicles. I managed to get a couple of hits here and there, here and there but really, I um, needed to keep those um, Venoms alive just a little, little bit longer. But oh well, I suppose I've got the all terrain assault watch instead. And, uh, yeah, what the hell? He's um, going to take a bit of damage, not much though. And a Weaver coming in, really? God damn it. I didn't have a coming in instead. But yeah, as you can see, they're just going to continue coming into my base. And I is actually uh, trying to make a bit of a push to the uh, enemy's base. In fact, he might be able to do that. Enemy's just coming up with a whole bunch of walking missiles, but they're going to come up against an anti swarm turret. Also got his um, Numero Uno commander, up, uh, commander upgraded. Wow, that's right, my commander's been killed off. And uh, yeah, as you can see, we did manage to repulse their attack. Actually, no, we didn't. We're kind of just slowing them down. They're not really repulsed yet. So, but there we go, thankfully. Finally, I'm finally managed to get um, Venom in to uh, help stun the crap out of that Ravager while my uh, Recluse managed to uh, destroy it. But the problem is they've got more Assault vehicles coming in. And the forces I've got are kind of inadequate to deal with them. I mean, this is an ideal combo to have versus Assault Vehicles. Well, assault stuff in general, but Assault Vehicles as well, I guess. But, um, yeah, it's quite, it's very, very much inadequate. And as you can see, yeah, my um, opponent, Dean Friend, is just continuing to spam them. Actually, no mind, he's actually coming up with a couple of Scorchers. Mostly just assault vehicles and uh, also the odd construction vehicle as well. We've actually got a, uh, another Strider Hub by 
been built up by a logout, and by another one, I mean it's actually the first one for this particular game. But anyway, we've also got the airplane plant and the jump jet special. Two jump jet specialist plants? Why the hell would he do that? I mean, if he wanted to build. Yeah, screwed up badly indeed. Yeah, I should I should have had a look at what's happening there. So, but yeah, as you can see, um, we well, would have been looking at the minimap, hopefully. <laughs> Still learning indeed. But yeah, there's assault vehicles basically just charged through my defences. Indeed. And uh, yeah, well, they're not, just, they're not called assault vehicles for nothing. <laughs> I don't know what the hell these guys are doing. They were completely out of position. I mean, they only want to slow them down anyway, so unfortunately, I'm going to get destroyed there. Still a bit of a learning experience. I reckon spiders still could have worked, but uh, yeah. I definitely need to go. Yeah, no, I'm not really sure if I did that well. I basically just spammed Venoms due to something I saw in a freaking gameplay video. But anyway. I mean, I still could have made spiders work. But uh, yeah, definitely not just by spamming a single unit type, that's for sure. Jesus Christ, and there goes my spider factory. I don't have any builder units, so that's it for me. Ouch. Loads of walking missiles by Puppy. Bizarre. Hardly bizarre. Given what they're going to be going up against, I'm not really sure. Oh, okay, hardened lasers because due to airplanes. Of course, and only one single aircraft being built anyway. Uh, not bad. Well, let's see how well this, uh, this anti swarm tire does, actually. Actually, it's not too bad. The only problem is, though, it's still facing a massive amount of walking missiles. I think it might have been cost-effective, but... Uh, oh, okay, they actually do en end up launching themselves as missile missiles and then out, out to the terminal... Not terminal... Uh, well, after their target is reached, I suppose, once, once their target is reached. Hmm. Interesting little use of them. As you can see, anti-swarm type doing loads of damage. Unfortunately, it was just... Way too many um, walking uh, missiles, or whatever they're called. Puppy walking missiles, yes. But yeah, as for um, going for two, two jump jet plants, you really should have just gone with extra caretakers and just gone for that instead. Also, the Strider Hub, I don't believe it actually made me think by the looks of it. I'm not sure what that was going on there. But yeah, my ally could definitely not. Oh yeah, and I also learned about the resign method. <laughs> In this game as well, as you can see, control A, control B. Although I think you can do that through like a different uh, key combination anyway. But uh, in any case, I believe we'll be resigning pretty freaking soon. Yeah, my ally can't really do too much. He actually, that's interesting, he actually did invest a bit into anti-air. The Razor's Kiss, not the cheapest of anti-air structures. So maybe the air switch by Logout 2 was just get to get him to build the uh, anti-air structure. The problem is they didn't really do anything else when it comes to anti-air. Well... In either case, yeah, my fleas now belong to my ally, and will they be able to do anything? Actually, yeah, there you go, see, they do an interesting job in uh, dodging some of the shots from these Ravagers and all that, so if I just, you know, coupled that with a few Venoms and all that to actually stun these guys, then uh, might not have been too bad. But oh well. I think you also get the crawling bombs as well, so your own uh, suicidal bomber units in, um, in the Spider Factory as well. I can't remember, to be honest. Oh well. Well, we gave it a shot. So, Ravagers use more of a mix of assault units, Venoms, recluses, exactly. Although, uh, Raider units would actually work as well. Because many assault vehicles, or um, well, assault units in general, but assault vehicles, especially these Ravagers, they um, have a very, uh, very slow rate of fire. That's not that great here, the Anagos. Um, not that great versus um, swarms of units. Of course, they can be covered with riot units and all that, so you have to keep that in mind. In any case, Killed to the last man. Ouch. Log out actually getting a kamikaze award. Of course, all those freaking uh, suicidal missiles. Or oh, cheap units like those, yeah. Um, oh, actually, a fusion reactor too. But anyway, uh, yeah. Of course, he'd, he'd get the kamikaze award for all the uh, missiles. Walking missiles he used. Don't front also getting complete annihilation. And bizarrely enough, that big purple art award. So, there you go. Quite a learning experience indeed. So, hopefully, you learned a bit as well. Maybe. Well, in any case, I'll see you all next time. Wait a minute, that was... Oh. Due to lag. That's interesting, just keeps on going, eh? Well, anyway, I'll see you all next time. Okay, welcome back to some more... <laughs> interesting. Anyway, some more 0k, and... Uh, yeah, it's going to be a 2 versus 2, top left versus bottom right. So you'll see how things work out. I believe the top left team it consists of... Survivor and Dwayne Dean Freund and bottom right team consists of Lightman myself and Skin36 so yeah rather interesting map this intersection it's incredibly small Q 
shoot. And in case you are going to be starting already, so it's pretty fast. My is actually going to be going for a very, very quick gunship plant. What is actually... What? Really? He's actually going to start with a Black Dawn, despite the fact that he's... Okay, I suppose the build time isn't that bad, but still, that's kind of a risky thing given how freaking small the map is. Huh. We'll see how that works out. As myself, I'll be starting off with the slightly more sensible cloaky bots, so they should have an easier time getting around the... Uh, let's have a look. Yeah, they can still should be able to walk up and down these slopes, unlike vehicles, I'm pretty sure. And as for opponents, well, Dean Freund is going vehicles according to what he said here, and that is indeed the case. His ally, Krivava, is going for shield bots though, so we'll see how that works out. I uh, yeah. actually did play this one kind of recently. Oh, that's right, these lampposts are actually reclaimable. <laughs> how many games do you get to see with, that have reclaimable lampposts, so? Oh, indeed. <laughs> indeed. Yeah, it should be interesting, actually. I didn't, didn't think, actually, that he was going to be going for such an early... Uh, wait a minute. For such an early assault unit, but no, he, I think he's changed things up. Instead he's going for... Oh no, he's still going for the Black Door. Never mind, I thought I saw something else there for a second. Well, in any case, something getting destroyed, which was just a glaive by myself there trying to see what's happening. Unfortunately, didn't get to take out the Raider Tower. Would have been a nice little victory, maybe paid off with the glaive even, but oh well. In case, thankfully, I do have an early laser tower there, and uh, the Scorcher is going to get taken out, though, so it sucks to be in. Although, this tower managing to do his thing. Should be able to cover, right? Actually, wait a minute, there's actually a bit of a uh, space where they can attack through, but uh, what well, they should still be alright, so in any case, yeah, my raider is going to be out here, out and about, like a trout. So, you got the initial raiders, of course. Basically, mostly just to fend off enemy raids, I think, and maybe uh, to try to do a bit more bone raiding. In fact, I think I might actually be able to do a bit. There's a possible weak, uh, weak spot if I go around here. Or maybe even here, actually. I mean, the defender, it's only a single defender. The problem is that there's another one right there as well, though, so it's going to be a bit worrisome. But still, we'll see what happens. In case my guy's going to be encountering their freaking Scorcher, but I think I'm just sending him to explore up here. I'm going to be encountering opponents' bandits, which kind of sucks, but oh well. Still going to be revealing what they're doing, and yeah, I'm starting to vary up my build a bit. Don't have any other... nope, no Rectors or anything like that. Ouch. God damn, those Raider... the Scorchers can really, uh, take a bit of damage for freaking Raider vehicles. <laughs> and it's my guy, yeah, he's going to spot the, uh, Bandits. I don't... yeah, well, I didn't spot any expansions, but I think I suspect at this point that they're probably going to try to expand there. So they got air... saw it. <laughs> so it was rushed, indeed. The Black Dawn. So, <laughs> interesting. This is something I haven't seen before until this game, that is. So, interesting to see how it works out. And yeah, finally getting a raid in town as well, just to help spot it as well. Hope not crew. <laughs> now, that'd be funny to, to rush that out. That's a, I know that's a very powerful unit. Vindicator, Valkyrie, Trident, where is it? Ah, there it is. Yeah, as you can see, it uh, costs a hell of a lot of metal, so there's no way he'd be able to really do that. I mean, even. Going with the Black Dawn, so that's a heavy raider slash riot gunship. So even going with that is a bit of a stretch, really. Unfortunately, we do have anti-air being built up by our opponents, but it's not going to be ready in time, which means this uh, Black Dawn has actually got uh, a pretty good opportunity to do a bit of damage, actually. So we'll see how that works out. Unfortunately, this um, Haxor is going to get ready in time. He's probably going to get taken out though, by the Black Dawn. Maybe... Yep, unfortunately, the Black Dawn gets taken out and basically end up donating, indeed, that was very close. End up donating a nice lump of metal to our opponents. Did a bit of economic damage, but really it could have done a bit more though if it was just a couple of seconds early or if it actually, um, no, oh, it actually resurrects that, so. Uh, okay, so he's got his Numero Uno commander with the uh, Lazarus device, of course. <laughs> indeed, skin sank, you shit, not bad. And so myself, I'm actually, uh, that's interesting, these bandits. Actually, I'm um, getting away from my uh, glaives there, but unfortunately my glaives are kind of going to get a bit of outnumbered there, but they do actually manage to do a bit of damage. Very surprising, actually. This guy should get the hell out of there. Thankfully, I do have a ride bot coming in there. Me saying what? I'm not really sure. He, he must have probably been saying that. To my opponent? Did he say it to me? I'm not really sure what... Who actually was saying that to me, but... Uh, I mean, I didn't think I really did anything particularly wrong myself there, but uh, in any case, yeah, I'll be... Um, Expand your damn right, you got to expand your bastards. Yeah, so me and my ally, yeah, we're slowly expanding as well. I'm going up with the uh, old fashioned uh, mix solar collector and LLT, and uh, yeah, I'll be, uh, well, also be trying to expand here. My uh, glaive is going to be detecting their own radar vehicles as well. 
So I'm going to be showing that that's going to be in a bit of trouble. And but yeah, but my guys did manage to secure this area more or less. These bandits are not really sure what's going on with them. Actually, what about opponents? They should be able to see. Oh no, never mind. Their radar does not stretch that far. Actually, whoops. Wait a minute, really? Huh? No, I guess it doesn't. Neither does mine, for that matter. So they don't actually see these guys here at all. Actually, <laughs> hate to think. So yeah, the rider bot, right bot, a um, was it right bot? Yeah. The warrior riot spots will be able to take out these bandits pretty easily. As for myself, yeah, I'm going to be encountering uh, the enemy forces and trying to expand, but uh, yeah, my commander should be right. I've actually got the uh, rector supporting him, bizarrely enough. And yeah, just coming out with a few more units, so just have a look at what com combination I'm going for now. So a couple of raiders, a riot spot, and that's it really. No skirmishes or anything like that just yet. And as for opponents, let's see. Just if I can select it. Just raiders, of course. So yeah, my skirmishers are going to do a pretty good job. Ah, uh, not my skirmishers, so my riots are going to do a good job against them. And as opponents, assault and riot bots of their own. So nothing long range, it seems. But uh, at the same time, that means they'll be uh, vulnerable to skirmish stuff. The only problem is they need the me and my ally. I've got, got any freaking skirmish stuff, which kind of sucks. But oh well. In any case, I'm still trying to expand, as you can see, and I might just be able to make that happen. Riot spot is going to take out the. Uh, Raider vehicle, pretty goddamn easily. Scorcher, I should remember what the hell their names are, but oh well. And I believe my own right bot's coming into contact with the enemy there, so forcing them away. Thankfully, they just went with full raiders. Unfortunately, now we've got some um, freaking uh, assault bots uh, of the enemy coming in. Assaulted, sh uh, sorry, shielded assault bots, should I say, coming in from opponents, which kind of sucks. And uh, yeah, as you can see, we're still managing to expand, though. We're going to out expand their opponents, it seems. So they are starting to expand. Towards the top right, but at the same time, oh wait a minute! I actually got a solar collector there. Oh, okay, there we had one that was beginning, to say the least. And where the where the hell is that point saying when? I'm not really too sure. When I'm off. Oh. Okay, so he's not going to resurrect it just yet. So they, in my opinion, he probably should have just um, just uh, reclaimed it really. But uh, what the hell? I suppose it would have been rather unexpected, to say the least. To <laughs> Indeed, to um, you know, to have our own gunship used against us, although we could, probably could have suspected that. So I need to see the right bots going to go to town on these raider units. Unfortunately, though, yeah, the shielded assault bot is going to go to town on my right unit. Though, but thankfully, though, I do also have my own skirmisher, and that shield, though, by the looks of it, I think it only deflects energy weapons. So the missiles actually of the skirmisher bot being able to get through there. Rockets, whatever you want to call it, and we got another freaking black zone coming in as well. Uh, not bad. Interesting what my ally is doing with. They're actually, to say at least, it'd be interesting to see if these, um, if an airplane starts or a gunship start can actually be used in the uh, beginning of the game for a one versus one. Actually, now that would be interesting to see. But in any case, um, yeah, we're going to have an arsenal sort of match. What are happening here? In any case, my. Uh, Riots and raiders coming up against the uh, assault units, so yeah, should be able to do a pretty decent job against them. As you can see, yeah, my uh, raiders, they're running rings around these assault vehicles and giving a bit of salvage as well. I'm also building up some defenses. I should have actually built up the defenses around here instead, actually, but, uh, oh well. What can you do? Uh, yeah, I should have actually thought about that. Oh well. In any case, this guy is still supporting my commander, who will hopefully be expanding as well. So I've expanded there, actually. I probably should have separated these two to get them to expand simultaneously, but, uh, well, whatever. I suppose going with slightly faster initial expansions here doesn't hurt too much either. But in any case, yeah, we do have my own radar here, so we're spotting them. But yeah, of course, opponents also have got their own freaking radar. They're not going to be able to see quite as much due to the terrain, though. <laughs> uh, too bad. That's so sad. My own, I think we should be able to spot a little bit more. Well, from a <coughs> bit of a height advantage, anyway. And look at that, we've even got the uh, actual middle of the map as well. The very intersection itself with a metal extractor. No defences though, not even a uh, solar plant or any uh, energy structures to overdrive that thing. But, uh, what can you do? I guess I'll be sending in a uh, light radar bot just to do a bit of scouting. And, uh, yeah, I'll be spotting the uh, assault vehicles. Probably be uh, spotting uh, just assault vehicles and their defences as well, so... If you pork this, can you help me attack the other side? <laughs> we'll have to just see how that works out. My ally is still going for, uh, let's see, for uh, Black Dawns it seems. Not quite the same as the Red Dawn I suppose, but it'll have to do. <laughs> and there's myself here, I'm just continuing to pump out a relatively balanced mix of bots. We've got Raiders, 
warriors, and there's, I've even got a couple of assault bots myself just to help take on the uh, enemy defences as well. So see how that works out. I believe my uh, yep, my rector is also doing a bit of reclamation as well, so kind of helping out with um, getting extra economy and all that. So and uh, this should be interesting to see how this will work out. As for allies, yeah, going with plenty of energy, yeah, trying to overdrive their metals extract as much as possible. Not such a bad idea. Huh, seems to be varying a bit. Now, actually, what's the overdrive on this one, for example, of my own metal extractor? Well, overdrive is only 22%, so it yeah, could be worse. Still probably could have gone with a few more uh, solar collectors for better overdrive, but oh well. Something to keep in mind for next time, and it's not 100% necessary, but still. In any case, wow, that thing actually does a, a lot of initial damage, actually. Raider slash right gunship, which is interesting, really, given that it's a... Uh, a slash between a raider and a riot gunship. But in any case, we got a nice little desperate battle happening here. Uh, what kind of units do I have? So mostly just raiders and uh, riot bots coming up against their own um, assault vehicles. Now, assault vehicles mostly um, destroy the crap out of riot bots, but uh, yeah, they have a, have a lot, of, lot of difficulty, of course, going up against the uh, raiders. So, yeah, as you can see, uh, managing to deflect my opponent for the time being. We'll see if I can keep up the defense here, so this is going to give me a nice little economic advantage having this little area here and I'll hopefully be reclaiming this area as well. Unfortunately my guys are going to continue in straight into the enemy defenses and also into Kaviva's commander there, so unfortunately I gave my opponent a little bit of wreckage as well and being a little bit reckless myself, bizarre enough, but yeah as you can see in my line we do have the majority of the map. Of course that doesn't guarantee that we'll win of course. I just ripped Peter, of course, twice. Whoops. Yeah, it doesn't um, guarantee that I'll be winning. No, he's actually going to salvage that instead. But I don't think he resurrected the other one either. Oh well. But, uh, yeah, what the hell? We do have a pretty good advantage, so will we be able to make something happen there? Don't you know? But look at that. This thing does great initial damage. It really should get out of there, though. After it um, does that, because as you can see, it does take a it does take a few seconds to reload. But whatever, it is actually going to be uh, destroying our opponent's northern position. Not bad, not bad indeed. As myself, I uh, am yeah, just continuing to try to expand here. I think my um, oh, my supporting uh, engineer vehicle has been taken out, which kind of sucks. But my commander is uh, still there, and this guy just continues to get a cam on them. But still, my defensive line has held though. Watch here, he's starting to reclaim though. I should be reclaiming myself actually, but oh uh, well, can you do it quite this added uh, point, where was it, clear this, not really sure where the hell that's meant to be, whoops, oh uh, well, but yeah, we still got map control though, and uh, not really, uh, we're not really uh, varying up our tactics that much really, we're just uh, going for what we need to go for, and I'm not sure what the hell that energy vehicle is thinking going all the way up there, maybe it's, ah, oh, maybe it's going out to, to, to reclaim something, I'm not really too sure, in any case, Sam, yeah, opponents, Bypassing the strong point I have here to take out my uh, rather paltry. No, I think it's going to miss horribly, but anyway, taking out my rather paltry um, economy that I've built up there. And I'll, I'll actually be going for a counter attack through the left rather than trying to go around and attack them that way. Will I be able to make anything happen? Uh, no. If I can take out the enemy's commander, that'd be pretty good. Unfortunately, yeah, my raiders get taken out pretty quickly. I do, of course, have my uh, fancy schmancy artillery to do as much damage as possible. And uh, yeah, as you can see, running rings around these assault vehicles once again. So yeah, they just, uh, as you can see, that guy just missed my glaive and he takes a hell of a long time to reload. Fortunately, they do still have a lot of assault vehicles in the fray. So my guy he probably should be doing um, some reclamation or something, for God's sake. He's still not being morphed out or anything like that. Just need to defend that point. Yeah, my um, ally skin is taking advantage of what's happening. Oh, that actually did resurrect the black one. I'll be damned. Well, in any case, he's taking advantage of what's happening here to uh, yeah, go to town on our opponent's base, so good on him actually on uh, doing that. I mean, he could have helped defend instead, but uh, oh, what the hell, I mean, as you can see, I'm not dead yet, actually. Oh, that's interesting, I should set up a laser tower there, even. Probably just act as a bit of a side defense against raiders more so than anything else. And yeah, I do have my own reclamation vehicle as well. A little bit more build power being pumped into this uh, bot factory and uh, yeah as you can see instead of going for rectors I should have gone for caretakers that would have been much more efficient in terms of how much they cost initially compared to how much build power they can uh, pump into something. They can't initialize construction or anything like that themselves but they can complete it so yeah I, uh, well that's just something for me to do next time I suppose I remember next time. Watch your opponents going to continue 
coming with their freaking assault vehicles in here. As you can see, pretty freaking uh, powerful to say. At least, yeah, my commander's most likely going to die. Although he is avoiding a couple of their shots. I'm not really sure if that was my um, own micro or whether, yeah, he's dead in case, or whether he was actually doing that on his own. But in any case, yeah, my guy's going to be coming in. And uh, yeah, my uh, artillery vehicles, uh, artillery bots, should I say, they're still alive actually, because frankly, yeah, they do automatically try to, you know, stay out of harm's way as well and all that, so thank god for that. This guy, yeah, I should have got him up a bit closer to take them out, but in any case, yeah, thankfully, uh, opponents seem to be running out of a bit of steam now, it seems. In fact, we don't even have, uh, actually, no, no, man, we actually do have um, Doing Freund pumping in a little bit extra fuel power into his uh, light vehicle factory. Shieldblood factory for um, Thingamajingi for Kuvaiva has been destroyed though, so yeah, that's going to make things a bit easier for myself there. Thankfully, and uh, oh, very nice shots there by um, by that Black Dawn. Actually, they've actually got the commander himself coming out for Kuvaiva at level 4, and uh, what does he actually have? Main laser, sculpture, field radar module, bizarre enough. Main laser, Lazarus, Tyson, armor plates and damage boost. So, very much, very much a support commander. I believe I've played. <laughs> Indeed. Yeah, I believe I've played him a few times now, and yeah, he seems to like that Numero Uno commander. Basically, as a general support commander. So, kind of similar to my commander, though, they uh, don't unfortunately have the uh, experience points to get enough equipment for him, which is kind of ridiculous, really. I kind of wish that the game didn't have that, but what the hell? I mean, you don't really need to upgrade your commanders after all, anyway. I mean, Dean Freud doesn't even actually have his own commander being upgraded. We've got an energy transmission pylon, bizarrely enough, actually. Oh, linking tile generators to the uh, fusion reactors, of course, for. Thingy-Majingy for, um, for skin, and uh, as you can see, yeah, it's just going to be a massive battle continuing onwards to this expansion point of mine, but uh, yeah, thankfully I do have some heavy units coming in, and I've got my own Rector coming in. Is he... he's doing something. Oh, he's just... I um, hope he's just sitting there. Okay, well, hopefully he's going to be... Resur uh, not resurrecting, so he's going to be... Um, can he resurrect? I don't think he can. But uh, in any case, he's going to be, um, hopefully, building up my infrastructure again, and uh, reclaiming all the stuff here. Thankfully, this area, hopefully, is going to be once more at mine. Yep, I managed to bat off the uh, combined assault of Kaviva and uh, down front. They do still have a nice sort of strong point to retreat to, but uh, yeah, I do manage to well, at least bat off the initial assault by down front. I mean, he can keep sending on Ravages if he wants to, but uh, yeah, we think it's going to work out too well for him. What I really should be doing... Oh, I've actually got ticks. There you go. What I really should be doing myself as well, actually, is going, going for more uh, raiders, actually. They would um, go to town on these assault vehicles, or they might be a bit tricky actually, because their big strength, of, of course, is being able to, you know, basically run run circles around assaults, these assault vehicles, and it's going to be a bit tricky to do that with, um, yeah, a bit tricky to do that with all this wreckage though. I've got some entire of my own because of what they sent out. I don't think we'll be making any sudden tech switches though. We actually do have hovercraft, survivor, really. There's no point of making hovercraft if you don't have water for them to go over. Because the thing is, um, hovercraft, they're not as uh, cost efficient compared to pure land or pure sea units. Because, you know, otherwise, you know, they'd just be, co oh, uh, they'd just be uh, overpowered, basically. So, building them on a, uh, this sort of map is, yeah, it's generally not really a good idea. I mean, building them on a sea-only map, well, it's not really generally a good idea either. You might as well just build naval units in that case. Yeah, guys, we got stuff in Nick. I mean, indeed. So yes, good job to skin actually for securing his area. Didn't have much to worry about really. Most of the battle took place here. In any case, my rector is going to be reclaiming. Yep, we've got a nice little reclamation circle set up there. So we should be able to reclaim without getting in range of the defenders, which is indeed the case. And yeah, as you can see, I've actually got plenty. If we just zoom out, get got plenty of rectors and zoom in. Got plenty of rectors are going to be supplying plenty of build power to myself there. As for my ticks, we'll see how well they do actually. As you can see, they're not actually, they're kind of like crawling, regular crawling bombs, but they do loads of uh, paralysis damage rather than uh, regular damage. So we'll see what happens. Ravage is actually going to cut in across the center of the map, and uh, yeah, why not? It is pretty lightly defended. Well, except for a couple of lotuses, I suppose. But uh, yeah, these, well, they're assault vehicles, they're going to be able to get past them pretty easily. I'm not really sure what I was thinking. Leaving these guys here like that. Whoops, long. There we go. Finally, I decided to send them back against the Ravagers. Don't know what the hell's sinking there. Because, yeah, if we just let this attack continue onwards, then, uh, yeah, they would have gone straight for the uh, 
LLT and a straight to bases and basically just destroyed them. In any case, I just noticed Milo is actually going with a Crow as well, or Crow. So I'm pretty sure that's taken out. And uh, yeah, they're all right on our doorstep and they're continuing to move forward, not even pausing for the laser tower. Not that. This is not going to do too much either. I'm surprised he even made it actually. So yes, yeah, so Blackhawk's going to do whatever damage he can though, but uh, yeah, the gunship plant is. Under siege though, down goes the uh, caretaker. Do have a couple of bots coming up, thankfully this warrior really should going back here though. But uh, yeah, thankfully though, I um, yeah, I think I actually used the EMP tick on them. But in, in any case, these guys have been stunned. Or maybe maybe the Zeus actually managed to stun these two due to their area of effect damage, I'm not really too sure. Well, in any case, they've been stunned and destroyed, so a very close call to say the least. Let's see how we did manage to make things happen still. Thank god for that. Ah, oh, looks like we actually do have a, uh, a tech switch by uh, Kuviva again. He's actually going back to shield bots. <laughs> interesting, so he's noticed that the hovercraft can't really do too much. And you have to admit, you do get some rather interesting hovercraft units, but in general, because, you know, they need to... Oh yeah, they got crowd yet, yeah, anyway. Um, in general, though, they're just not as cost effective as um, land, pure land or pure sea units. Of course. So, going with them on this sort of map, it just doesn't make any sense. I mean, you can make it work, I suppose, but uh, you'll be playing at a bit of a disadvantage. That's light, man, you can't use all those rectors. <laughs> and, and bizarre enough, actually, I'm, re I'm reclaiming. So, somehow, if we just have a look at my income, yeah, my income is uh, actually alright. I'm floating, uh, well, or rather, I'm keeping um, metal and energy. Yeah, relatively alright actually. So despite the fact that I've got all these rectors, I'm actually managing to uh, maintain a pretty good economy just from uh, reclamation. And I'm only using one single rector from what I can tell. Yeah, just one single rector to actually reclaim. <laughs> Bizarrely enough. Yeah, the crowd, yeah, as you can see it's a flying fortress. In fact, it doesn't say it's anything else actually. Well, basically, put uh, from what I read in the manual about it, it uh, drops cluster bombs and it's got free um, laser turrets as well. So overall, a rather spiffing uh, little gunship indeed. I guess it's the uh, the ultimate gunship, or the, rather the uh, Uber units for that plant. I guess you could say. I think the so-called Uber unit would be for the cloaking bot factory. Uh, I suppose maybe the Zeus, but uh, really the cloaking bot factory. Well, it's not called an assault bot factory for a reason. So. Yes, as you can see, that nothing really too heavy except for the Zeos. One thing I could have actually used as well would have been the Eraser to help cloak my guys, and uh, yeah, maybe a Sharpshooter as well as a couple of uh, Sives as well, just to um, you know try to go after some sneaky attacks and all that. But uh, well, what can you do? What can you do indeed? These defenders still being a pain in the ass. So I think my artillery should still be firing. Maybe. Oh yeah, they're just firing at these freaking assault vehicles. I can keep moving around to dodge their shots, but they're still taking a bit of damage here and there though, but yeah, as you can see, my uh, artillery assault is uh, starting in earnest. As you can see, I should have plenty to um, to bombard them, and plenty to defend as well, now sort of a mixture of uh, Zeus's Glaives, and the uh, Warriors. Actually, wait a minute, I think I've got some other stuff there as well. Yeah, I got a couple of ticks as well, just to try to EMP, you know, any swarm swarms of units or anything like that. That's blocking it. Not really sure what they'll refer to there. But I will. Oh. It's interesting, it's actually got a couple of forward place caretakers. Interesting. Well, I suppose to repair the crown. Well, let's see how he'll do, I suppose. So, I believe he can only drop cluster bombs directly underneath. He can't fire them like missiles. Yeah, there we go. Well, okay, he can sort of fire them, I suppose, like missiles. But in any case, yeah, he's going to absolutely destroy their base. Ah, oh, indeed. Crown, gotta love it. And back he goes, presumably to get repaired. <laughs> oh, not bad, not bad. So I really should just be pushing forward, really. I'm being a little bit too passive here. But uh, in any case, there we go. Finally, my guys are coming forward. What are the orders on them? Uh, okay, I was just to get into another line formation there. No problem. And there you go. Opponents quitting. <laughs> An interesting game, and uh, yeah, it actually did, was kind of close. Um, in a couple of uh, instances, the uh, closest stages would have been when they almost conquered 
this uh, bottom left expansion for themselves and of course when they uh, almost secured the top right expansion but thankfully we managed to get both of them and uh, yeah, Crow managed to do the trick there so what did everyone do? So Skin of course being the Air Force General since he was the only one with any uh, real Air Force as myself I actually got complete annihilation order bizarrely enough wait a minute, what's that? oh no, that's actually I'm selecting beneath, okay and Spoils of War as well not bad for rec everything I reclaimed. Kaviva, of course, got necromancy for resurrecting a couple of things, and Dane received the most amount of damage. Not bad. Uh, an entertaining game indeed. Well, there you go. I'll see you all next time.